Wisconsin and across the country this weekend. The protests are now here in America as well. So the media has a little catching up to do, you know? But they're still missing the key ingredient that is stirring the pot. A common goal of ending the Western way of life. You and your neighbors must not miss what the media is. They're also missing, or not alarmed, at who is organizing all of these American dream rallies that happened over the weekend. Oh, oh, who did the... Who did the unions go to to be able to file permits to get the places to have these rallies? You will not believe it. We'll tell you in a minute. Come on. In the Middle East and all over the globe, people think capitalism is evil. And shockingly, many people here in America feel the same way. But what are they going to replace it with? I told you on the first day of Egypt, first day when it started happening, I said the protests would become um, contagious and they would spread. Well, let's see if that's true. Let's look here in our own country. Have the protests spread? Well, in Seattle, protesters claim to be reacting to a police shooting that I think happened in August, but take a look at the leaflet they were handing out. It's here on the ground. Police are the absolute enemy. They clashed with police, throwing rocks and bottles at them and smashing cruisers, launching fireworks at them. The group that did it is called the Puget Sound Anarchists. They were behind the protest. And this is their website. Oh, it's, it's quite something to read. Their site says, quote, As anarchists, we know we cannot find justice under the state and capitalism. Instead, we seek vengeance. We are anarchists who wish to communicate socially but also realize that the state and capitalism will never just disappear and that the time to act is now. They went on to say that their dreams are found in the streets and the police are the enemy. An end to America as we know it. That's what they're looking for. You will find this same kind of sentiment with the people like Van Jones, the Marxists, the Communists, the Anarchists, the Islamists. Some are working together and some are not, but they all want the same thing. These various groups may not agree on everything, but the one thing they have in common, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, the common bond is to destroy the Western way of life. It is the wave that is sweeping the world, and the media continues to ignore it. You must not. We told you before the weekend about the protest plan in all 50 states by unions, the goal being stand in solidarity with the union workers in Wisconsin. And a lot of union workers who are just trying to make ends meet are buying into that lie. They are called the Save the Dream rallies. And they're talking about the American dream that we showed you, not the American dream that you understand. They defined it in 2008 at the Netroots Nation. This has been planned since then. How have they been planning this American dream angle for the last two years and then announce it this week as spontaneous or this last week? Well, I don't know how they get away with it, but they do, maybe because the media pays no attention. But these are the sponsors, and it's the same old people. Look at how many George Soros's are uh, is linked to this. The Tides Foundation, Communist Organization, the Labor Unions. It is the same group of people that want to fundamentally transform America. Well, let's see what happens when these people come out to protest. In Sacramento, unions are out protesting when one thug gets in the face of a counter-protester Tea Partier. Be careful, Tea Partiers. He calls him a fascist, and then it gets violent. Watch. <laughs> for the police. In Atlanta, similar situation. Unions were out protesting. Some Tea Partiers show up for counter-protest. Again, watch yourself, Tea Partiers. Watch now as one pro-union thug head, uh, uh, heads into the uh, Tea Party crowd and does this. <laughs> We have the video of the hippies smoking pot and having a rave in the Capitol building in Wisconsin. 
with the Marxist and communist signs hanging everywhere, but uh, nobody is paying attention to what the signs are actually saying. Does this, is this the American dream to you? Are these the people you want to stand by? SEIU has sent this email out to their, um, their workers in Colorado and other states. It says, in short, we'll turn Colorado in Wisconsin. Remember, the unions were in solidarity with the people of Egypt, and they promised to bring Egypt to Wisconsin, and they have. And now they're promising to spread it all around the country. The unions are. They are all working together in solidarity to start a revolution. I know that sounds crazy to many people who are just union workers, but hear me out. Just like Egypt, our theory was radicals will work together. Seems like now there's a globe of evidence to confirm this, and more and more with each passing day. But there's one protest that I think we need to mention. It's Washington, D.C. It's the one that Van Jones attended. Now, I know a little something about the hoops that you have to go through to get a permit to hold a rally in Washington, D.C. We did it on 828. They'll ask you everything. The media will, I'm telling you, first the Park Service puts you through the ringer, and then the media hovers, trying to find out anything they could about 828. Maybe it was the evil Koch brothers who were behind it. I'm not surprised, but the media hasn't investigated the Van Jones rally. This is a union rally, and Van Jones was speaking. Well, they didn't, uh, they didn't look at this with the same vigor and intensity they did with 828, but that's okay, because we did their job for them. Who was it? that pulled the permit for this rally to save the American dream. We called the National Park Service. It has confirmed now that Saturday's rally permit was requested by and issued to none other than the International Socialists Organization. So the union went and had them pull the permit for the Save the American Dream rally. This is a group committed to building a future socialist society from their own website. The ISO stands in the tradition of revolutionary socialists like Karl Marx. Is that the American dream? Union members, you've got to decide. V.I. Lenin and Leon Trotsky in the belief that workers themselves, the vast majority of the population, are the only force that can lead the fight to win a socialist society. Socialism can't be brought from above. Remember, it's top down, bottom up. It has to be won by the workers themselves. You're being used. Average Americans, union workers, you don't hate America. You don't want an end to the Western way of life. But you are standing with people unbeknownst to you that do.